man, look at that sun out there shining today. You know, this week I've spent a lot of time outside shoveling snow. We've had probably somewhere around 10 or 11 inches this week. And so I've shoveled snow about four or five days this week on my own driveway and then twice at the parking lot of church. And you know, it's cold out there today. It's about, mm, about 18 degrees. But you know, the amazing thing is, is the way that the snow is melted by the sun, even though it's so cold. While we were at the church a while ago, a young man, as we was shoveling snow, he said, I can't believe this snow is melting on the parking lot. It's only 18 degrees. How is it melting? And that just goes to show you the power of the sun. You know, we think about that in in uh, biblical terms, we can think about the power of Jesus Christ and the power that he has to uh, melt the hardened heart. You know, there's no heart that's too hard that Christ can't melt it. The scripture tells us, but as many as uh, believed him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to those that believe upon his name. And so we think about that. We think about the power of of the name of Jesus. We think about the power of the Son, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ has come that you might have life and you might have it more abundantly. And the name of Jesus, you know, whom the Son sets free is free indeed. The name of Jesus is powerful. And so we can trust the name of Jesus and know what he gives as eternal life. So as you look outside and you look at the sun and you think about the power of the sun, yes, it's cold outside. But the sun has the power to melt the snow. And so the Son of God has the power to uh, break the hardened heart, to melt the heart. And so today, let's just continue to trust him, knowing the power that's in the name of Jesus, and to know that if you believe him, he'll give you the power to become the Son of God. So, so those of us who are praying for someone and trusting that that God might save someone, let's remember it doesn't matter how far gone they are. It doesn't matter what they've done in the past. The Son, in the name of Jesus, is powerful enough to save them and to give them eternal life. Oh, I'm excited about that fact today, and I hope you are too. Trust in Jesus today. There's power in the name of Jesus.